everyone. I'm Chef Susie with Escafier Online. Welcome to our live session this morning. Today we're going to be making some cornbread. This is a simple quick bread. It's quick, it's easy. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to be making a very basic recipe. And what's nice about these basic recipes is you can add um, so many additions to them, so many different types of flavors and textures. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bread itself and then we'll talk about some additions. Okay, so for the cornbread, quick bread means it's leavened with a chemical leavener. We're not going to be doing a yeast bread where we're going to be kneading and the yeast has to grow and there's a process with the fermentation and the proofing. This is quick, chemical leaveners. In my bowl here with my dry ingredients, I have my all-purpose flour, I've got my cornmeal, I have baking powder, I have baking soda, and I have a little bit of salt. And th these are the only dry ingredients that you're going to need. So the chemical leaveners being the baking powder and the baking soda, the baking soda is going to be activated by buttermilk that we're going to be adding into the formula. And the buttermilk is acidic, and baking soda needs something acidic to activate it. Whereas the baking powder, it just needs some liquid. So these are um, some really easy ways that you can test to see if your baking soda and your baking powder are still active. I usually keep mine for about a year, there's usually a date on the label, but they do become inactive. So to test your baking powder, you can just add a little bit of warm water to it and see if it bubbles up. And the baking soda, add something acidity, like uh, maybe a little bit of vinegar. So um, the acidity is going to um, make the baking soda bubble. So that's gonna activate it. So that's the role that the buttermilk is going to play in the formula. We've also got a little bit of egg and I'm using honey for the sweetener. You can use granulated sugar, but I chose to use a little bit of honey. Okay, so this is our basic recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and make this and then we'll talk about some more additions. Okay, so we're just going to be mixing our dry ingredients. And please let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, this is basic, this is simple. And you're gonna enjoy your quick bread. So I just wanna make sure that those are mixed up really well. So I've got my buttermilk here with an egg in here. And this, um, this recipe is going to make one eight inch pan. And we're just kind of breaking up our egg. We don't really want to add much air to this. And like I said, please let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so next we just add our wet ingredients in. Give it a little well. And you can easily mix this by hand. You don't have to put it on your mixer. You want to be careful, I'm adding the honey now. You want to be careful that you're not um, over mixing this. So just mix it until the ingredients are incorporated. And then lastly, we're going to be running in a little bit of butter. I'm using a whisk. You can use your um, rubber spatula. Just be careful not to mix too much. Some cornbread recipes are going to be very loose like this one, and you're going to see some that are thick as well. And um, you're going to be finding uh, good recipes and okay recipes and really good recipes. So remember that you're always going to be hanging on to those really good recipes. And I like my cornbread recipes to be a little bit thinner. I don't like them so thick because it's just um, it's a lot of moisture when it's thinner. And that means it's going to be a little bit moist, uh, more moist and a little bit more tasty bread. So we're just going to add our melted butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be finishing this off with my rubber spatula because I've done quite a bit of mixing so far and I want to make sure that I'm not over mixing this. And please let me know if you have any questions. So just mix this until your ingredients are well incorporated. Okay. So this is our basic cornbread, quick bread. See how quick it was to make. Okay, so this mixture is going to make one eight inch pan. So I sprayed it with some uh, pan spray and I always put paper in the bottom to ensure that this releases. So we're just gonna put this in our pan. 
and we are going to be baking this at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. It's going to turn a little bit golden brown on top and it'll be ready to go. And you can test the top to see if it's done. You can also put a toothpick in the center. Okay, so now that we have our basic cornbread, let's talk about some variations to this cornbread now that we know how to make it. So for additions, for this size um, recipe for an eight inch pan, your additions can be about three quarters of a cup, but you have to be careful with what you're adding. So some additions could be some whole kernel corn. You can also add some cream corn. That's gonna be a little wet. It's gonna have a little bit of hydration. If you're adding cream corn, I recommend cutting back a little bit on the buttermilk so your, um, your cornbread doesn't get too wet and it's still gonna rise properly. You can also add um, cooked bacon, cook it crisp and crumble it up or chop it up. That's a nice addition to the cornbread. You can add your favorite cheese. Be careful when adding cheeses. Don't add too much. They have a lot of fat in them. They have a lot of oil in them. And it could make your cornbread just kind of a greasy mess. Be careful when putting cheese on the top too because it can become overly brown. If you put cheese on the top, you see it getting too dark and it's not done yet, just put a piece of foil or a piece of parchment on top to slow down the browning. You can also add onions, you can add um, any type of pepper, you can add the jalapeno pepper for a little bit of hotness. I recommend cutting those pieces very small. And you can also add green and red peppers for some nice color. Onions, you can add red onions, white onions, and um, even the green onion is going to add some nice color to this. You can also add... Um, you know, things like cranberries and orange. That's really nice addition to the cornbread. And apples are nice too. You can add berries. If you're adding berries, you can add a little bit of basil. That's a nice touch too. And you can also add rosemary. Another nice thing to add to the cornbread is uh, sausage. That's a nice addition too, whether it's a breakfast sausage or an Italian sausage. So really the additions are limitless. And um, just, you know, your favorite ingredients you can add to your cornbread. And um, you're gonna add them in after you um, do your final mixing. Maybe after you have a few little pieces, a uh, little bit of flour that's not quite mixed in all the way, then add your addition. This way you're not gonna be over mixing your cornbread because that will cause dryness because you still have the all-purpose flour which has gluten in it, which is a plant protein, and that could cause some dryness if you're over mixing. But definitely have lots of fun with your cornbread. Be careful with some of those additions like the cheeses and the berries too if you're using fresh berries. Um, I would use raspberries or blueberries. You could do a blueberry lemon. That would be nice too. But be careful with any wetter type of fruits because that's going to cause some hydration. It could also cause some uh, little bit of pocketing too. So I would stay away from strawberries and uh, wetter fruits like that. But um, definitely have a lot of fun with your cornbread. I wanted to tell you about um, something that I make with my cornbread. I make a blueberry cornbread. I make a dessert out of it and I top it with some whipped cream and some caramel corn to reinforce the corn flavor. So that's an idea too. So really limitless and please let me know um, if you have any questions on the cornbread and also what you're doing and what kind of cornbread you're making. So knowing all that, let's set this aside and we're gonna take a look at some cornbread that I made earlier. Okay, so it's got a nice golden brown color to the top. You can see a little bit of golden brown on the sides. And with the cornbread, um, typically the crust is going to be a little bit crispy. If you baked it fresh and your crust is very crispy and you're having a hard time cutting it and it's breaking on you, Cut it upside down and you'll have much better luck with it. So that's just a little tip from the kitchen. So let's go ahead and take this out of the pan. Okay, so I always put a little bit of parchment on the bottom of my cornbread, on the bottom of um, my cakes, and this way it ensures that there isn't going to be any sticking. If you're serving it in the pan, you're going to want to stay away from um, the paper in the bottom. Okay, 
So here we go. We have a nice cornbread. Let's go ahead and cut this. You can trim the edges with the cornbread. If I'm doing it kind of rustic, I'm going to do a little plate up with some chili. I'm going to keep these ends on here because I think they look nice. So um, the cornbread, it, um, it cuts easy once it's cooled. You're going to want to make sure that you cool this all the way. It's a little hard to cut when it's warm. And like I said, if you're having a little trouble and your top is being a little bit stubborn and cracking on you, then go ahead and cut it upside down and you'll see a really big difference. So I've got some nice sized pieces here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a plate up with some chili because um, cornbread and chili, they kind of go together like uh, bread and butter, right? So let's go ahead and do a little plate up with our cornbread and chili. So there's lots of additions for the chili that you're, you, know, you can put in your cornbread as well. Peppers, cheese, onions, all that good stuff. OK. So I've got a little cup of chili. And we're just going to put a little cornbread on our plate. This is a nice way to serve the cornbread with chili. Goes well with soup. Um, you can even serve it on your its own, making a little bit um, of a sweeter cornbread with cranberry orange that I mentioned, or even any of the additions. Let's go ahead and finish this off. Maybe we'll finish off our chili with some crackers, a little bit of cheese. And here you have a nice dish. Your cornbread was quick, easy to make. You saw how long it took me to make the mixture, not very long at all. Goes in the oven for in between 30 and 40 minutes. Leave it cool off a little bit, and then it's ready to be served. Let's go ahead and put a little cilantro, finish off our chili. And then maybe we'll decorate our plate a little bit here, too. OK, so I have some um, I have some cherry peppers that are marinated. And these are really pretty. This is a nice red color. This is a nice addition to this plate. So like I said, peppers go nice with the cornbread. And um, you know, a lot of fruits go, too as well as some of our spices. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of jalapeno on here too, since we all know that we like that with our cornbread. And we'll put a little bit on our chili. And cilantro is a great addition too for a spice, for an herb. And there we go. We have a nice chili and cornbread. So thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you next time. Have fun exploring different flavors and textures with your cornbread, and please let me know how you're doing and some of the flavors that you're making. Goodbye, and we'll see you next week.